Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. I just wanted to do a little bit of a video talking about some of the reveals that's just happened over the last last few days, actually. Um, we've had MCM Comic Con over in London, and then uh, Hasbro Pulse have done their 1027 event. Um, and there's a few Star Wars reveals I'd like to sort of just have a little chat about each of them. Um, so yeah, first of all, MCM Comic Con was, um, was hosted by a couple of YouTube's GOATs. Uh, Sith Lord 229 and Bosk's Bounty, um, along with some of the Hasbro crew. Um, and, you know, for the Vintage Collection, we've got a look at a brand new uh, Vintage Collection figure that will go with the E-Wing, which is very close to being due for release. <laughs> Lieutenant Callahan, um, a very cool looking pilot. I'd like to see more New Republic pilots coming into, coming into the fold. I think that would be really cool. The character I'm really itching to get, probably not. I haven't put a I haven't put a pre order down for the E Wing. Um, yeah, just haven't decided whether I want to have that thing yet or not. It looks great, looks cool. Love the Ahsoka series, um, but it's more of more of a space thing at the moment. Just I've got the Ghost coming, Cantina coming next year. It's just uh, it's a it's a big call. So I may end up picking it up, being the sucker that I am. Also for the Vintage Collection, we're getting a re-release of this figure right here, Aura Singh. Um, without the briefcase. Uh, yeah, I think most people are a little bit bummed about that. There's a few things they could have done differently. Um, updated the legs, for example. They've still got the swivel. She's still got the swivel hips. Um, and they're giving a bit of photo reel. Would have been cool to see her sort of other outfit that she wore in the Clone Wars. The sort of black with the... She had the face paint around the eyes. I think that would have been a cooler look. But hey, it's a good opportunity for for collectors that weren't collecting back in 2012 and before that. Good opportunity to grab a cool figure. Just a bit of a bummer that they didn't include the EU sort of extra, the little little suitcase with the lightsabers in it. Um, and then with Black Series, had uh, three new figures revealed. Uh, Sebulba. This figure looks absolutely fantastic. Just, oh, just mind blowing. One step closer to Watto. I'm, uh, I'm very keen for a Watto figure um, in Black Series. I think that'd be fantastic. Um, I sort of talked about that recently in in a top ten uh, live stream I did with my buddy uh, Brian Metal Jedi, and um, two new prequel era Jedi Shark T and Luminara Unduli um, for the two Jedi. At the time of recording this, Hasbro have yet to put out some official images of that, so I'm just going to put out some photos of uh, of the figures from the event from a few people. So there was a few people there, which was cool. Um, so yeah, very excited. Shark T hasn't had a new figure since, I believe, the Clone Wars um, animated style figure back in 20... I'll say 2011, maybe 2010. Maybe going back <laughs> nearly 15 years, which is incredible to think about. And uh, yeah, Luminara's had a couple of figures, um, firstly in the three and three quarter inch black series, and then a re-release in the vintage collection with the sort of the 2003 Clone Wars style paint scheme. So she's had a couple of figures come out in vintage, vintage collection scale, not necessarily the vintage collection, but yeah, vintage collection scale. I still call it, it's all 3.75. So yeah, there's there's been a few figures of Luminara over the years. And then Hasbro Pulse 1027. Now there were some leaks. We knew this one was coming. It was just a matter of when for the Black Series. Savajo Press and dear Lord, this thing. It's going to be, uh, this could be figure of the year 2025. I'm calling it now. <laughs> I'm calling it now. Um, yeah, unreal. Seeing this thing sort of all painted up. There was a few... Someone's been leaking a few little little bits here and there. I'm not sure where they're leaking them or who's doing it or where they're getting them from. But yeah, a few sort of pre-production photos of sculpts and, and bodies and stuff like that all put together. Um, not quite put together, but um, yeah, the fact that he comes with his lightsaber and his sort of staff that he uses. Freaking cool, man. Um, bring on a shirtless version. Do what Hot Toys are doing. Put out another version with his mechanical arm and his lopped off horn. Um and an extra lightsaber for Darth Sidious, and have them have the the uh, have the Mandalore fight going on. That'd be absolutely insane, um, and he'll look fantastic next to the Clone Wars Darth Maul as well. So I'm really really looking forward to Savage Press. He's a top of the want list um, as far as I'm concerned. 
And I don't know if it, I don't even know if I included him on my top ten most wanted um, live stream a couple of weeks ago, but he's just number one in my heart, and he's coming. More Clone Wars love, awesome! I cannot wait for Savage. And then two more vintage collection figures being revealed at ten twenty seven. We're getting Obi Wan Kenobi Jedi Legend from the Obi Wan Kenobi series. Looks fantastic. If it's anything like the the Jabim Obi Wan that came out with the Darth Vader last year, we're in for a treat. He looks pretty good. Um, the Black Series one benefits probably from having that extra little accessory given the given the Skyhopper. But um, yeah, that was also priced accordingly. The Black Series one, whereas this one is just going to be straight up vintage collection figure. But yeah, a nice finishing Obi Wan Kenobi um, one to sort of round out all the Obi Wans from the line. Uh, from the film, from that style. Um, well, not quite. Yes, we've got three. Yeah, so that'll be number four. <laughs> I just had to rethink and have a look over at my collection. So that'll be the fourth uh, vintage collection figure of Obi-Wan Kenobi from Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then, last but not least, uh, Jedi Knight Yord Fandar continuing on with the Acolyte. I'm glad Hasbro are going to continue trickling out the Acolyte figures in the three and three quarter inch scale. There's no reason why they can't get the same figures as Black Series collectors do. Um, you know, Black Series obviously just the first one off the rank. And um, yeah, it's, it's it's probably a good thing being able to trick out one or two here and there just to sort of spread them out so they're not too clustered together. You know, if you were to put out a wave of four or five Acolyte figures, they may not move in that sort of selected assortment. But um I think this way, putting one out every every couple few months is a, is going to be a good method to get those characters out there. It's going to give some excitement. Um, I'm already looking at picking up May, Osha, and um, Jedi Master Soul in the vintage collection. I wasn't gonna, I was going to hold off, but um, just sort of seeing them in person, they do look nice. And um, yeah, I think I think I'm going to go ahead and grab them at some point very very soon. But uh, yeah, just a quick one today, guys. I hope you enjoyed checking it out. Uh, some really cool reveals. Love to hear your thoughts. TVC, what are your thoughts? Black Series, what are your thoughts? Um, there's no war. If, if there was a war, I'd say Black Series is kind of just tipping the scales a little bit more here. But you know what? For me, as someone who collects them both, it's all Star Wars. It's all fun. I get to choose what I want to buy. If I don't want to buy it, I don't buy it. So... Um, yeah, there's obviously reasons why they market these things the way they do. So we'll see. I think that might be the end of all the reveals for the rest of the year, to be honest. We, we, we may get some other bits. Hasbro like to uh, do a little sneaky, sneaky, sneaky before Christmas, perhaps. But thank you all very much for watching. Do appreciate your time. Hope you're all having a great week. May the force be with you, always. We would be honored if you would join us.